Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a wonderful week. Oh, week? <laughs> Weed? Weekend? Weekend. This is Kelly <laughs> from House of Virgo. If you are new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. You guys, I'm going to do on Sundays now, Sunday singles, okay? I'm going to do a Celtic cross, so we're going to try this out, see how it goes for Sunday, and see, you know, if it goes well. Um, and we'll just keep doing that okay so yep this is a Virgo channel please do click like share and subscribe if you're new and Virgo let's get into your reading all right so what does Virgo need to know Virgo singles singles are those of you who like you're either married or you're not <laughs> you're either long-term committed relationship or you're not singles could be dating but this is just about your energy the recent past, we'll take a look here. Okay, so you have the 10 of wands, reach the, the recent past. Your situation, okay, you have the magician in the reverse. The block, you have the moon. The root of the problem in your life, you have justice. The possibilities before you or up ahead, you have the sun, okay, direction that you're heading. We have the Ten of Pentacles, how you view yourself, the world in reverse, others and your environment that's around you. You have the High Priestess, and I will clarify the Major Arcana, your hopes and fears. You have the Four of Wands and the outcome and where the energy is heading, the Three of Swords and the Two of Swords. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you have the Two of Wands. So. This is basically like you kind of looking out and seeing, you know, what direction you want to go, trying to make decisions in your life at this time, um, maybe travel, making some plans. Um, currently, I feel like, you know, some of you are just, you're resting, you're taking your time, trying to figure out what you want to do. Some of you might be really just withdrawn might be doing a lot of praying or trying to manifest in your life, doing some meditation work, um, not really talking, listening to your dreams, making these plans according to your dreams and what you want to do in your life going forward. Now, the recent past here, there's some kind of struggle, an end to the struggle, okay? Something came to an end, some something that you were pushing and pushing and carrying the weight of the world, carrying everything in your life, um, carrying a relationship. You, you It felt it's just an energy of laborious, like labor, um, all this hard work, like physically exhausting or some type of situation that made you feel like it affected you physically. And I feel like you dropped the load of something you just said that's it you're not carrying the weight of everybody or a particular relationship or anything in your life you just you know so much put on you all the time in the past and I some of you might have dropped it some of you might just kind of like still carrying it you know um but it just feels like a very heavy struggle in your past, your recent past as well, or something that you came, you know, because it's a 10, 10 always represents an ending. Like that's the finale. I feel like some of you might've just been like, you know what, that's it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep pushing something forward that doesn't really, it's too, too much work. So currently you have the magician in the reverse. So I feel like, your situation right now is kind of hard for you to put all or lay all your cards out on the table. I feel like you're having a hard time manifesting things in your life, right? Currently, at least the situation around you with that card, it feels like, hmm. It feels like you're, I f I'm feeling an energy of trying. I feel like you're, you're, you're working on something. I don't, I'm not picking up like depression or hopelessness or anything like that. I just feel like at this current time, you are as a single person, the block is the moon. So it's like, there's not enough, your dreams, it's your dreams. 
you're tr I feel like you're trying to connect with your dreams or connect with your wishes, your desires, the things that you want in your life. You have some kind of an idea, but it's difficult for you to turn this, turn these, this thing into reality. And even in the case of, um, you know, wanting to have a relationship or meet someone, it feels like it's, um, it's difficult for you. Maybe you don't know where to meet people or you're not sure how to meet someone or make yourself available or if you're ready for that. So you kind of have, you know, uh, a difficult time here. Like, I feel like you've dropped some kind of a burden, but you're not quite... It's not black and white. You're in a very gray area right at this time, I feel. And that's all right, because I feel like there's some kind of transition that you're going through. Let me just get a clarity on the magician in the reverse. Okay, so you have the queen of wands. So as an energy, this is you kind of like taking some bold steps in your life, male or female, it doesn't matter, it's energy, um, becoming more confident, um, more in control, right? That's a, that I feel like that's what you're trying to do. Get yourself in a position of, you know, all this yellow on this card gives me a sense of glowing, glowing up, getting yourself in, you know, shining bright like a diamond kind of energy, being more intuitive with yourself. You know, I do feel like for a lot of you, your dreams are speaking to you. Some of you might be having trouble remembering them when you wake up. Where there's only bits and pieces or portions of them some of you are trying to remember and write things down or there's just these wishes but the block though i feel like that is kind of what the block is like when we have the block as the moon this feels kind of like what's preventing you from getting to where you need to be or where you wish to be in your life on the love front the block is the moon is disillusion or i'm sorry is illusions there's a lack of clarity okay and so i feel like you can't manifest the things or the type of relationship you want in your life until you are clear about what it is you want. Because if you are not clear and you're, you're you know, sending those desires or half desires or certain uh, just bits and pieces to the universe, the universe is going to respond that way. You have to be clear and direct with yourself and with your hopes and wishes okay as far as like manifesting a person i'm not a i'm not like a believer in manifesting people because imagine that kind of feels like spell work um imagine if someone that you weren't interested in was trying to manifest you you would be like i'm blocking that no i don't want anybody trying to pull me in that i'm not interested in right so i you know how would you feel i don't i don't like the i, I hear people talk about Oh, manifest a person. I mean, you can kind of manifest an idea of what you would like and things, but I don't feel like manifesting a particular person. That if you're trying to do that, and there's someone that you have in your mind, like for instance, maybe a fire sign, stop that <laughs> because that would actually be backfiring on you. So I feel like the block here is there's a lack of clarity. As far as like if someone were to say to you Virgo okay well what type like what are you looking for if you were like really really wide open you're like I'll just take anything the universe is gonna be like okay we're just gonna bring you anything and then you know <laughs> Virgo was like wait maybe I should rethink that um, I feel like you need to like somehow find a way to sort that out about what it is you want and then start trying to manifest. So for example, I'll give you an example if you're new to this whole thing. If you are looking to date someone who, uh, for example, okay, um, say they have a career working in the corporate world, okay, um, the way you manifest that type of energy is you need to surround yourself in that environment, 
Okay, so it's it's kind of starting with the environment of these type of people. Like if you're looking to meet someone on, for example, and I always say this, like on a dating site, um, you're gonna surround you, you're gonna surround yourself in an environment a different kind of environment if, if you're looking to manifest someone who has a similar lifestyle as you you want to be in that environment that's a process of manifestation okay so this is a strong message for you singles about getting clear about what type of person you would like if you are someone for example who um you're very artistic um or not, I don't want to say autistic, like say one specific thing, like say you're someone who likes to run marathons. Um, you're not, you're certainly probably not going to want to have a connection with someone who sits on the couch and eats chips and soda all day long, right? So this is a message of clarity and I feel like I keep repeating myself here. So let's move on. The root of the problem is justice. So this is about getting truthful with yourself and but being fair so if you're going to try to manifest someone and get clear about what it is that you want in your life or what type of energy or person you would like in your life um i don't think it's i don't think making um a list of a hundred things to be so super specific because then if you're too specific with like a hundred things, I mean, you're gonna really narrow it down. I feel like there's gonna be probably some things that you're gonna to have to ask yourself, hmm, well this I might forego, but this I definitely not like. So make your list of a hundred and then, you know, keep making it shorter and shorter. <laughs> What is this like? House of Virgo, Kelly's dating advice. I don't know, you guys. It's just the messages that are coming through here. So um, be fair and be balanced. You might not have balance as far as what it is, uh, the type of person that you're seeking in your life. Once you get that all together and you figure that out for yourself, because in order to know what type of person you would like to be in alignment with you have to know where you are and where you stand and what will work for you and what will not okay um so let me just give a little bit of clarity on the moon okay all right yeah so five of cups energy so the block is maybe a little bit of hopelessness as well um <clears throat> it's interesting with the five of cups is i've been saying for years you see this person is looking down at all that they have lost rather than seeing those two cups that are still upright this is kind of like some of the block might feel a sense of regret or remorse or somebody saying maybe i was maybe i was too picky or maybe i should not have let somebody go for others this could be an like a message of like sad that something didn't work out you know but once if once this person is able to turn around and see that there's two cups that's the two of cups there is love out there there is someone who will be in alignment with you but i feel like you have to get in alignment with yourself and get clear if you're not about what that is what that means for you okay let me just take a look clarifying there's a lot of major arcana here clarifying justice okay being fair honest truthful with yourself okay yeah and the three of wands so planning looking out onto the horizon here looking out to see that there is more uh, threes always represent communication to me as well so this is also the root of the problem is maybe you're not talking to yourself are you not being truthful and honest fully with yourself maybe you think you are maybe there's a little more digging you need to do so for example um here's something you can do to practice if you if you're kind of like not sure try to write your own personal bio like for yourself what would you say about yourself what do you like to do that's one way to kind of get an understanding of yourself of who you are if you're not fully sure or if there's more to be discovered or if you're just on a path of discovery okay so crowning is the possibilities here you've got the sun 
So yes, it is possible for you to have everything that you want. Um, you're in control of your destiny. So let me see. Joy, happiness, success. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I always feel like when I look at this card, I always feel like this is you. This is the Virgo card. And you are looking at your value, your self-worth what you feel like you deserve. If you had to put a monetary value on yourself, how much would you be worth? How much do you think you're worth? <laughs> you know, I mean, how much do you think you're worth? Ask yourself that. I feel like that's, you know, the possibility for success is here, but this is really about positioning yourself to reattract or to attract someone into your life based on your self-worth, your self-value, okay? And this is related to your self-esteem, okay? It's related to your self-esteem as well. Are, are you even ready for dating? Do you think that there's more you could do? Um, are you ready to come into commitment with someone? Do you think you have some more work or some other things that you want to manifest in your own personal life? Um, other plans or projects or goals? Are you working on those? Do you want to start working on some? Write that stuff down and ask yourself, like, what else do you want? I keep hearing that <laughs> or seeing that. Noah from um what was that movie Noah and Allie what do you want what do you want Virgo what the heck do you want <laughs> okay so the direction that you're heading okay you have the ten of pentacles so this is good um this is kind of like you're heading in this you know secure safe kind of position if that makes any sense um And the best and most efficient way for you to achieve your goals here as far as your single life or meeting others or meeting someone in particular is to keep your eye on the absolute prize. Don't take your eye off, off what it is that you want, okay? So I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, some of you, you know, this could be about a career, about a job this could be about um meeting someone also remember i was saying like in a particular environment surrounding yourself with like-minded people um this feels like security and safety and long-term relationship so you're it like that's what's before you as long as you are following through with these things, I do see that this is before you. Now, who that's going to be with, we shall see if someone is coming in here for you. But I feel like this mostly is like your goals and your plans and what you're seeking. Okay, so I feel like manifesting, getting clear on what you want, um, what you will put up with, what you will not, instead of settling in love, just so that you could have a partner um, or someone comes in and they seem to be everything that you want but then there's these red flags that some of you may have had a tendency in the past to just kind of overlook because of your feelings of attachment to someone i feel like that's a big no-no um, if they're huge red flags okay so i see you heading in a really good direction at this time this is representing your future. So I do feel like you are going to have some type of long-term success with a relationship. I do see that. How you view yourself is the world in the reverse, okay? Chapter's not finished. Something here that you are, your goals, your success, your dreams, um, the things that you wish to have for yourself, uh, you're still working on that. And I feel like that's just as good as being successful because it's still moving. So I feel like some of you might be viewing yourselves as you're not really where you want to be just yet. Um, some of you want to relocate or travel and it's not possible at this time. Some of you may not even view yourself as being able to do that. 
And these are just about how you're viewing yourself right now. Okay. Um, let me see. I feel like it's not really negative. It's not overly positive. It's just transitionary. Like you are so close to getting what you desire at this time. And I feel like it's just a matter of you got to keep pushing. You you know, it's like being I feel like if you were running a race. And the one thing I want to tell you, Virgo, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Okay, so don't get discouraged if you have yet to meet the person of your dreams or the person that you want to be with for a lifetime. Um, don't get discouraged. It's a marathon that requires self-discipline, patience, perseverance to keep doing what you're doing. I know some of you are like, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Well, I feel like you might be hitting like a goal marker here where there's something spirits trying to tell you hold up there's another thing here that we need to take a look at mostly it feels like um your environment is you're not really clear or you may find yourself like wait what am i doing here is this really what i want a lot of questions are going to start popping up here for you okay so the devil energy is here okay there might be some past energy that you're still trying to clear out you might view yourself still stuck on someone um, or obsessed with someone or still very physically attracted to someone whom if you look here if you're female you're looking at that person and that person's looking away from you so it's like they're not interested yet you're still bound to them in some way um, the new word I'm going to use here is maybe there's a bit of limerence so there's a little bit of obsession possibly okay or there is another person in your life who is still kind of in and out and it doesn't feel like it's officially like finished and and you know this person is still kind of stuck on you or it's both of you there's still a connection here so there hasn't been an, an ability to complete a final chapter to move on okay and if you're male um yeah you might be looking away and trying to like you may still feel stuck on someone but you may be trying to look in a different direction and this person but still looking at you right so there's the energy is kind of mutual i feel and i feel like you might be viewing this like you're trying to move yourself forward now for some this might not exactly be like a person this could just be energies from the past perhaps there was some addictions or some trauma or anxieties or stress or struggle in past relationships that you are trying to heal from um maybe you were involved with someone who was you know or there was just a very toxic relationship that you're still trying to heal from. That's not a message for every single one of you, but somebody here might relate to that in some way, you know? So you might be viewing yourself. Now, let's take a look and see what is external to you. So this would be the environment. And you do have the high priestess. Um, so... There's a lot of secrets and hidden energy um, that's external to you. Whether this is helping or hindering your situation, there could be somebody in your environment who may be um, psychic or you might be listening to psychics trying to get clarity. You could be speaking to someone like who is very wise full of wisdom as well i kind of feel like this doesn't feel like a friend this feels more like um oh, maybe you're listening to tarot readings this feels more like um your environment if, if you're listening to tarot readings this seems like it's all that's around you it's your go-to and maybe that's helping you so i feel like that that would be great um there's somebody or or some people around you who are very wise 
and have a lot of like intuitive knowledge um they keep secrets maybe they're this could be someone who's very religious as well um now they may you may be communicating with these people or this person right now um or that may be showing up throughout the rest of this month into october let me see here okay so all right i'm just gonna say this straight out some of you are just listening to too many tarot readings instead of like getting off putting those headphones down <laughs> um and getting off the headphones and the readings and putting the effort and energy in because i feel like some of you are just stuck on these readings and you're stuck on maybe this time something will be different maybe somebody will come in um, some of you and I know it's not all of you some of you might be stuck on um, a particular person and wondering if anything's going to change right so when the chariots in the reverse this is kind of like you get in the car you got the gas the tank is filled car is clean wheels are good and then you go to turn the ignition and nothing happens that's the that's a chariot in the reverse or it's like driving down the road and you run out of gas like i feel some of you might be in this situation where there's way too all right so they're saying there's there's way too much thinking and you're spinning your wheels because you're get, going down a rabbit hole of too much thinking there's no action here there's no action and the environment surrounding you in some ways there are things that are hel helping you with this intuitive information you're receiving that's external to you or these aha moments in regards to you know what you need to do moving forward in your single life but at the same time it's hindering you because there's too much reliance for some of you on the readings okay and I feel like that's maybe that's part of some kind of an addiction. Some of you might be like, oh, I need to give this a break. And if you need to give it a break, give it a break. It's fine. Well, I know I'm still going to be here. So come back whenever. But yeah, give it a break. Take a break. Get out there and live your life, right? Get out there and meet people or do the things that you love to do. So your hopes and fears, you have the four of wands. So, you know, it's good. I feel like you're hoping to have that you know some of you might want a reunion with someone um some of you want that family that happily ever after that you know structure the 11 11 energy some of you want that long-term commitment marriage and and these are your hopes maybe to have a family because this is the family card so i do feel like um you know your hope your hoping is for that oh goodness gracious i'm so sorry so yeah i feel like you are hoping for this right but there is a fear that the foundation right the foundation has to be built first before anything else there is a fear that it might not happen for you but you know look the 11 11 upside down is still the 11 11 okay for structure and balance so and the you know i feel like there's a fear that this isn't going to happen but these are just basically you know it's hopes and fears it doesn't represent anything that i feel will actually happen it's just kind of maybe your outlook on the situation here um so just take that into consideration be mindful of of your hopes and fears which one is like directing your path your fears or your hopes Okay, so we have the outcome here, and this just kind of, for me, it's not a hard and fast prediction, but to tell you where the energy is heading. Okay, so you have the Two of Swords with the Three of Swords. So I feel like there's a decision here, right? I feel like you're going to come upon a, an actual decision of blocking out any kind of things that hurt you okay this is kind of like turning a blind eye to either and sword is all about intellect and thoughts 
Um, I feel like this is turning a blind eye to the negative, right? If you are um, on this journey and you feel like all you can think about is how hurt you've been or how somebody did you wrong or how things aren't working out for you, like this is all negative thinking. And you know what, Virgo? Everybody has their pains, right? Okay, we have the number 23, very significant 23 I'm just seeing that right now I feel like Virgo turn a blind eye forgive let go of the past and open yourself up to allow love to come into your life and even love for self okay so yeah the two of swords is kind of like going within and making a decision and making a compromise with self you know yes I've had my heartbreak yes I had a divorce yes I had that breakup um, that doesn't mean that that energy is going to happen again Okay, those were your experiences. Learn from them. The energy is heading in the direction of you kind of, you know, putting your swords up there and blocking that, right? Um, not being of, in fear of that happening again. I mean, love is always a risk. Um, if you had an argument with, with someone, you know, the energy is heading towards, you know, maybe I need to block someone. It might be a decision that you're making going forward. Maybe it's time to block so that you can heal and move on or reblock someone or just kind of look at the situation and say, you know what, maybe somebody was a third party or there was, you know, other involvement of some sort. Maybe Virgo, it's time for you to take those two swords out of your heart. Okay. Use them to protect yourself and just move forward in your life, right? And I feel like the energy going forward is going to be a decision for you to do something along those lines. Now, all right, I want to see, uh, let me see here. I'm going to get a couple more messages here for you. What are the island time messages here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? going forward okay the butterfly all right beautiful can't see it but that's all right relationship is evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth some of you this is relationship with self is evolving which is beautiful that is so beautiful um for others you could be connecting with someone or dating right now while you're going through this process um i do feel like that relationship is going to evolve as time goes by and i'm not talking i'm talking about someone that you are officially dating okay um you could be right if you're not dating anyone and you're just solo and single and on your own this is relationship with self evolving which is beautiful okay and healing that inner child stuff right parenting yourself again kind of parenting yourself healing the inner child is becoming the parent to the child within that didn't get her or his needs met and meeting them okay all right, you've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So here you go, Virgo, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I feel like this reading is just all about you. You getting yourself in like, it's like, I kind of feel, what's the word? Especially in this retrograde, a lot of you are going through this retrograde change here. Okay, just when I said that, lightning, sudden change. Okay. Shocking news, surprise, an epiphany, upheaval, and a transformation is occurring in your life. Yeah. Wow, you guys. This is amazing. Um, I do want to ask, though, for those singles, if anyone is coming into your life in October, I want to take a look at October. If there's anyone coming into Virgo's life in October... Let's see, Virgo going to meet anyone new in October. OK, 
Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Let me see. Okay. I do feel like, yeah, there will be an opportunity um, that will come to you in, in October here. Um, hmm. But you know what, Virgo? I think you're, and this is for the complete singles, okay? I, I don't know that you're going to really be interested. I feel like someone will kind of reach out to you. But I do feel like your, your energy, whoever this person is, I do feel like the energy is going to be, I'll think about it. I feel like that's going to be kind of your response. Um, okay, we have the Queen of Cups. So this could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in. Um, this might be someone... For some of you, this if this is someone you re reconnect or you're, you're reconnecting with, this could be someone that was blocked in the past, or they block you know blocked either one. Um, for others, though, I feel like it's going to mostly be about like oh I'll think about it. I have other opportunities or other things that I'm trying to manifest in my life. Okay, now for some of you, there you are. For others, there's also we're getting court cards now, so it could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, yeah okay that's what i feel like there might be some shocking news i feel you know as you're doing you virgo you know you will attract people into your life which is good um if you're reaching out to anyone at this time anyone new i, I would advise like even up until october 2nd between 2nd and the 9th not reach out to anybody yet just keep doing you because during that retrograde is never a good time to start a relationship and some of you might actually tell someone like maybe in a couple weeks or i'm not sure or i'll think about it you know um just because it's that retrograde and you're going through some changes i mean that's as far as like going into dating for the purpose of to have a relationship like if you already started that then that's different but um maybe go have a few dates or have dinner or drinks and just as a friendly thing that's fine but to start any kind of a relationship during this time period i don't know you i mean you do what you want some of you might just like i said just kind of say oh I'll put it on the back burner for now not yet or something along those lines now let me see you know, as always, Virgo, you have free will. Um, you can change your approach. You can change the energy in any situation that you're in and achieve a different outcome. This is just some type of guidance message for you to try to give you maybe some pivotal markers for you to bounce off from. If it helps, great. If not, don't worry about it. Let's see what the romance angels have to say okay all right some codependency so you may have to take a look at some codependency issues um addictions affecting your romantic life um look and see are there any addictions or things that you need to i mean we're, we're talking addictions it could be you know addicted to anything it doesn't have to be the the typical drugs and alcohol thing it could be some could be addicted to smoking some could be addicted to cheesecake some could be addicted to a person a place or a thing you know some things that interfere in your ability to have a healthy relationship or may have had that in the past um you know it's not for all of you and not all of you have codependency issues there could have been issues with family members or a parent that was an addict and that has caused codependency in you right so there could be stuff like that to take a look at during this retrograde as well okay past life relationship also something from the past that brought on some type of codependency i feel like you're being asked to take a look this is a really deep like therapeutic read <laughs> some things you've got to heal that stuff for go if you want to have that ha healthy happy relationship if you have codependency or addictions your addictions um might be um, the one who's making all the decisions in your romantic life so you, you need to like face that and say hey you know, you're not in control. I am. 
I'm in control of my destiny, not my addictions, not my codependency, things like that. Um, all right, I'm going to get a couple more messages here from my Moon Pie Tarot deck, as usual. Let's see what else this Virgo needs to know. Okay, yeah, non-committal. So I kind of feel like for you, Virgo, it's like, for some reason, you're doing, you've got something ahead of you here that you're trying to sort out or that you will want to be sorting out. This could be in relation to a person, place, or thing. This could be your spiritual, mental, physical, emotional health, okay? Which might be at a position right now where you're like, you know, I can't commit to someone at this time. It's hard for me to even commit to myself to manifest my own things. I feel like you're... Some of you went through something that was really difficult in your past, okay? And um, I feel like you're, some of you are exhausted. Some of you really do want to meet someone, but at the same time, you're like, I don't know if I want to get involved with someone and then, you know, feel that burden again. I don't feel like you will. I just feel like um, that might have been a unique situation, but there is responsibility to committed relationships. Some of you might just want to enjoy your single life a little bit longer, okay? Um, and kind of reposition yourselves so that you don't attract that same energy from the past, that you attract what's in alignment with you. Okay. All right. So you're going to get a sweet text message from someone. I feel like, um, okay. So sweet text message is kind of like sweet nothings. Um, make you feel someone thinking about you, someone uh, wondering how you are, um, someone that maybe you haven't heard from or someone, a long lost friend. It could, for some of you, it could be a past person. It really just depends. It might make you feel like, give you a little bit of um, goosebumps. I'm just, like, I'm getting goosebumps, right? For some, it could be. Um, it could be coming from a person who is non-committal, you know? Um, some of you might not feel anything at all. You're just like, okay, whatever, I'm not committing to this. Why? Because I'm busy putting an effort in my life. And some of you have goals. You're trying to finish. That's what I said here, right? This is not yet complete. This is almost completion. So whatever you're working on here in your life, I, I don't even know what it is, okay? I know some of you are in a position in your life where, you know what, you've got it all together. You have your, you got your money right. You have your physical self right. You've got everything you need and you're doing well and you feel like there isn't anything else that you need, but maybe there isn't, but there is something here with this devil energy that I feel like you need to, this is the one last thing that needs to be dealt with, whatever this is, Who, person, place, or thing that represents the last, uh, the last train on the track, okay? The last train on the track that still has yet to dock. Okay, let me get some numbers and signs. All right, so we have Pisces here, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces twice, Okay, 111, I just saw that right there. Okay, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo. Let's see, we got a couple more. Sagittarius twice, Pisces again, and Libra. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm getting the numbers 203. Um, my stomach's growling. Can you hear it? Oh my gosh. Um, one, 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 six. And one, 24. And also the year 2000. 
seems like it was significant for some of you. Okay, let's see what other numbers are showing up here. Let's look at September birth date, August, September birth dates. Okay, so September 18th, September 9th, September 3rd, September 1st, um, September 9th, we have the 2nd, September 2nd, and September 4th. We also have August 23rd, 24th, 29th, and the 31st, okay? So if any of those birthdays resonate for you, it's definitely a reading for you. If it doesn't, it's still your reading, okay? If the messages resonate, it's still your reading. Um, I want to get your Chinese signs to see if anything else we can pick up here for you. Um, also, someone is has just turned 40 or is turning 40 years of age. Okay, um, we also have 42, age 31. Okay, let me see here. Chinese signs for Virgo. Okay, year of the tiger. Look, it's the year of the tiger. This is the year where you need to like pounce and get stuff down here. The, the year of tiger is like very aggressive kind of year. It's like a cat. Okay, or that's the person. Okay, year of the goat. So this could be you or your person or both of you or neither. Okay, take it as it resonates. Year of the ox. We have a rooster. We have a rabbit. Year of the pig. Okay, year of the snake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more. Double pig. Double rabbit. Did I say a rat? I thought I did. I didn't. Okay, so year of the rat. All right, so if that's you and your person or both of you or none of you, <laughs> just take it as it resonates. All right, let me see what your charms are here. Let's get all this out of the way and check out your charms. All right, so snowflakes. Okay, snowflake, you have a seahorse two stars beautiful oh silver and turquoise i feel like silver and turquoise might be significant for someone and something connected to stars and also the hell is this you know what you guys okay i'm just seeing oh my gosh every time i see this charm i'm not intuiting this message but i'm just every time i see this charm my grandmother used to have these little flower petal stickies on the bottom of her tub <laughs> from like the 70s. Every time I see this, I don't know if that resonates for any of you or you're like, yes, my grandmother had that too, or maybe your mom. I don't know, these little flower. Okay, so interesting thing here is that if you look, these are all pointed there's something going on here. Um, something going on here with all of these points. So we have two stars, which are five points. And then you have a snowflake, which, snowflake, snowflake, which is six points. But yeah, and then even this little flower petal is five and six. I'm feeling like five and six or 56, five and six. Okay. Five to six. Okay. They're just saying. Okay. They're saying, all right, there's something that you're going to look at or see. Maybe you see it now or you will. That's like in a group of five to six. And I'm also picking up this snowflake thing is very important as far as like uniqueness. I feel like this represents your energy. There's something very special and unique about you and others can see this. Okay. Don't think that you are 
just another donut in the donut box. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like each one has unique abilities. There's something special. And I feel like for some of you, I want to ask you, what is so special about you? What's unique about you? What sets you apart from others? If you're doing any journaling or you're or writing your bio or you're trying to figure out, look, I, I had a conversation the other day and somebody said, yeah, he's he's gone out there and he's seeking or he's looking for himself. Or other people are saying like, I'm seeking myself, I'm lost, I'm trying to find myself. Listen, you will never find yourself until you first accept yourself, okay? Because if you don't accept who you are and where you are currently, whether you like it or not, you will always be looking for self. Your identity and who you are has to be cultivated. Going out and searching for yourself. You're not out there anywhere else. Where you are is right in here, right inside of you. Okay, Cultivate and work with what you have and build upon that. That's what makes you unique and special. So understand who you are. Okay, you don't have to go out and copy another person, copy what everybody else is doing, you know, be a sheep, be a part of the crowd, be what is so unique. And if you can't answer that, then, you know, what sets you apart? What makes you, because there's something we all are set apart. There's something about you very unique and special. If you're not sure, ask people, ask people who are close to you, what, ask them, what what do you think like if they tell you that you're special or there's something about like ask them what do you see that i'm not seeing begin identifying and cultivating self and this seahorse some of you um there might be a connection to seahorses in some way you know um some of you are males that really want to have babies you really want to have a child and maybe you never had a child or you wish to have a child at some point in your life, right? And that's just one small message that I'm getting here. But there is some kind of connection to seahorses for you. And if that resonates for you, then obviously that's a message for you. And if it doesn't, don't worry. It's for someone else. Um, but I feel like the strongest message here for Virgo, for you singles, is really start working on self. You know, whatever that is. Uh, persistence consistency self-discipline perseverance success keep every day do the the grind of whether it's journaling whether it's your your physical health whether it's like um like it's meditating every day putting things into practice getting that stuff done listen i i gotta tell you if you guys it's there's certain some of you here who are like i've done all that where's my person my answer to you is it's not time yet there might be something else you need to take a look at but it's just not time yet but don't be discouraged your time will come there is a seat for every ass but you have got to, you might just need to put yourself out there more or get more social. Listen, if you're at the top and you have done every single thing, every single thing that you could possibly do and you haven't met someone yet, it's just a timing thing and just be patient, okay? All right, I think that's going to be it. I think that was like your Sunday singles 45 minute plus reading. I hope that that was enjoyable, at least to some degree, or that it helped you in some way. So again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Definitely click that link and book a reading with me. You can also join my channel. There's two options there to join. So go check that out if you want to become a member of my channel here. And I think that's it. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to leave your reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Happy birthday, Virgo, if today's your birthday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care.